Hello everyone, it's Maxim and welcome to Dead Man Mode Progress video number two and we are currently in the process of completing our third quest which is the Rune Mysteries quest as I have mentioned before. So I'm just gonna talk to this Sedridor guy, come on, talk, 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 yeah, yeah, all about altars. He's gonna teach me how to runecraft, um, well, basically, theoretically, teach me. Um, and I can keep this talisman as well. I managed to just buy an iron pickaxe for 2.5k, I didn't want to go to Nirmov's shop in the Dwarven Mine. But, um, yeah, so I just basically paid 2.5k for that. But that's my first quest complete in this game, and I have one quest point, and I'm going to safely teleport back to Varrock, because I don't really feel safe right there. I think there's even a multi-zone if you go up with the wizards, so I'm not really a fan of that one. I just want to be safe back in Varrock. And now it's time to train my mining to level 17, and I decided to do that by mining some essences. Alright, going to be hitting about... Yeah, 70 mining and like two messenges came out, one more. And I'm pretty shaky right now because uh, I just hopped worlds to get this last two levels. Uh, I got attacked because this obviously isn't a guarded zone. And this guy comes up to me with a bone crossbow, starts hitting 18s on me. I'm like, what the fuck? And the guy was only level 50 or something. So luckily I had some lobsters with me. I started spamming my food and just running to the damn portal, getting the hell out of there. Uh, and I escaped with um, 16 HP, but I lost my lobster. So one good hit from him and I would have died. Uh, luckily he can follow me because obviously he would be dead. Uh, but <laughs> that wasn't a nice experience. So that's why I was prepared with some food. Uh, I didn't expect to run into someone, uh, but I actually ran into someone. So that was pretty nasty. Um, but I got the 17 mining, so now it is time to um, get to Falador and start the Goblin Diplomacy quest. We're at the end of the Goblin Diplomacy quest, and seriously, this is really an annoying quest. Uh, I got attacked like twice trying to get resources. Um, really not getting too fond of that mode, I suppose. Uh, a lot of stuff isn't going my way, but here it is. 5 quest points, 200 crafting experience, which gets me to crafting level 3. And now I just want to get the hell out of here. This is the final cutscene of the Lost Tribe quest, and I'm not sure if I'm currently safe. Um, at least, I hope I am. Um, and after this, I should have the quest completed, granting me 3000 mining experience, a ring of life and freedom to the mines, as well as one quest points. And it seems that I actually was safe, and my mining level is now 22, and I completed the Lost Tribe quest. So now I can go buy some bone bolts, as well as a bone crossbow, and get my ranging up just a bit better. And we are getting close to level 50 ranged. Uh, I've been ranging quite a lot today. Um, I'm training at these Terrorbirds because this is actually a safe zone and there is 50 ranged. I can now equip full blue D height. Well, apart from the body because I need to complete a quest for that one. But I'm, I've been leveling pretty good uh, and I'm enjoying it. I just need some better armor because as you can see my gear is pretty shit. But I managed to buy myself some snakeskin boots. Then I'm gonna get my blue D height vamps and my blue D height chaps. Um, and perhaps even train some more. But I feel like I should be doing the... Um, animal magnetism quest because I want to get that Ava's device so perhaps I should just do that first only like three quests I have to do for that and I don't know I can I can safeguard myself a little bit with my blue dehyde etc so I can attack people back um, so if I just take enough food everything should be fine I guess and by using this skull on the grave I should get a cutscene in which this restless ghost finally finds peace and he can go back to uh, haunting whoever he wants and that should give me some prayer experience as well as the first quest that is completed. 1,125 prayer experience gain, and I'm now prayer level 18. I think I come from 15 or 14, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up is Ernest the Chicken, as that one is closest to my current location. And after that, I will be completing Priest in Peril. And Ernest is changed back to a man, and he will reward me, and that is the quest completed. And I actually looted a banky from a guy that was uh, down here at the ghost. He had a skull, uh, so I just attacked him. So I'm gonna teleport to Varrock right now. I'm gonna start the Priest and Peril quest, but first let's go and loot this banky. The guy was level 24, so not hoping on something too fancy. Yeah, only 500 coins, leather boots, feathers, or drones, some bone bolts. Ah, uh, oh well. 
Okay, we're here at Drizzle for the third time, and this is basically what's so annoying about this quest, is that you have to get 50 unnoted rune or pure essences to this guy in order to complete the quest, but finally I did it, I got myself a Wolfbane Dagger, 1406 prayer experience, and a Rouge to Canafis, which I can now access, and I got 21 prayer from 18. Now I do need some levels before I can actually start Animal Magnetism, and it's gonna be 18 Slayer as well as 19 Crafting, the Crafting should be really easy. Uh, but I gotta find like a way to get some Slayer levels. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna do this this episode or not. Um, but you know, let's just get started. I decided to uh, leave it for the quest because I didn't really want to do animal magnetism, and we're getting to an end of the episode. Plus, I have been wasting quite a lot of money on getting all of my supplies for ranging, and here is 82 fletching, really nice. Um, so I didn't really feel like doing much more and I wanted to make some more money so it is time for some fletching and damn Dulocs have gone up to about 510 to 520 each but boastings have lowered I can sometimes buy them for 150 each so that is pretty good. Um, so yeah I'm gonna try and get some more money hopefully around 300k this time so I get to spare some stuff and I can get some dragon longswords as well deposit them in my deposit box and be safeguarded. That's basically going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave this video a like rating and subscribe for all upcoming episodes. Peace.